Like that's really the difference between Tesla uh, being worth a lot of money and being worth basically zero. Many countries, including Canada, have mandated that all new cars and light duty trucks sold be zero emission vehicles by 2035. Not to mention other auto companies will now be relying on Tesla's charging network, like Ford. Elon has stressed that Tesla must make its cars fully autonomous, in which there is no human intervention at all. Well, like that's really the difference between Tesla uh, being worth a lot of money and being worth basically zero. As Tesla engineers work to improve its full self-driving technology, it wants to place that technology in a robot. Optimus perhaps felt like a sideshow when Tesla first unveiled it in 2021. However, those who are insightful or listen carefully will understand that Optimus ultimately will be worth more than the car business, worth more than FSD. There has been arguably even more skepticism over Elon's plan to ease traffic by putting Teslas into his own tunnels. We're still years away from seeing whether the boring company's tunnels will be a visionary mode of transportation or if there are too many holes in Elon's plan. It's also too early to determine the potential of Neuralink, which received regulatory approval in May 2023 to test its brain implant on people. Neuralink's chip is meant to stimulate the brain and help those with spinal cord injuries control their computers and smartphones with their thoughts. The long-term goal of Neuralink is to merge humans with AI.